Um, uh, you're, uh, you're not taking a sand out, are you? Dad, I can barely speak. Well, I don't mind sitting in the back with your mum, oh. you know, if that's a problem, I'll sit, I'll sit in the back with her, Dad, yeah? it's all right, it's okay. As soon as my head stops thumping, I shall be my normal charming self, all right? Aye, uh, I'll bet. Ah, well, I suppose not every day you get to finish your exams, university and all that, you know? Yeah. Honest to God, look at the cut of you. What is Stephen going to think of you? Well, whatever he thinks, he's not going to go running back his side, is he? Well, if you like, uh, well, your mum and I, we can, we can go and get him, you know. Dad, don't mind going. I'm going to pick him up. I know this might not be the last time in his life when he comes out the slammer, but for now, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, all right? Right. See if you can give your mother the benefit of the doubt as well, yeah, okay? Just let her in, eh? Yeah, right. You remember what I said, now. Hi, come in. Hiya. Uh, come on through, uh, Andrew's in there. Right. Really ready. Hi. Hello. It's been quite a while. Yeah. I, uh, I should have come sooner. And now you're here, you're early. Well, you know. Yeah, can't keep Steve waiting. Hey, right? Andrew, please. I wanted to talk to you first. It's not right we turn up at the prison gates like this. Isn't it? Steve's not going to be taken in by another happy family's routine anyway, is he, Mum? We're not a happy family, I know that. But I don't want to be cut off from you, Andy. I'm still your mum. So you are. Andrew, will you listen? It's all right. Leave him. Your mother is trying to apologise to you, OK? I don't want this to be just Steve's day. It's something for us all. I know. So can we be friends? If you like. I mean it. Come on. And today is some sort of family celebration. But I'm doing it for Steve. I'm not throwing my arms around you. No, not yet. But maybe in time, eh? Maybe. I do love you. I know. Look, I'll get me coat. Propose a toast to freedom and new beginnings. Freedom, freedom and, and new, new beginnings. beginnings. And to the family. You've all stuck by me and I don't deserve it. Of course um, you do. Mm. We quite enjoy visiting that place anyway, mate. Oh. Hey, I tell you what, I'm going back there again. Not if I can help it. No, you certainly will not. You've had your last day in there. Take it from me. Yeah, it's going to do his best from now on. All right, indeed, and I'm going to help him, which is why I'd like to propose another toast. Another to... toast? Oh, absolutely, to MacDonald and son. Which son? Him. You find your own work. MacDonald and son. Cheers. Yeah. Work? What are you talking about? Well, I suppose actually it should be MacDonald and Webster, but I've spoken to Willie and he agrees with me. You start work with us on Friday, see you do. Start what? Well, just with the firm. I mean, you can start doing whatever you want, like you can be a labourer or whatever. Whatever takes your fancy. Hold on a minute. What, you want me to work with you? Yes, of course we do. Look, I'm too... we're dead busy, you know. Oh, I thrive in small business. Willie and I both agree an extra pair of hands. Well, I've been more than welcome, so what do you say? Hey? Hey? Whoa. I think it's marvellous. Yeah, so do I. Well, I, I don't. Why not? I mean, what's the matter with it? Nothing. Except just you bailing me out again, isn't no, it? No, 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 no. I'm not bailing you out at all. I mean, you're going to have to work hard for your money. Yeah, but it's still charity. No, it's not charity, Steve. <sighs> it is. I can stand on my own two feet. Well, I think you might find that a bit hard, mate. Well, what do you know about it? Nothing. I'll keep your mouth shut. Hey, listen. You're not going to be working with your dad forever, you know. Eventually, you're bound to move on. Yeah, I know, but I want to move on now. Well, of course, if you can find something better to do. Yeah, but at my age, I should be able to, Dad. Mm-hmm. Well, with your record. It's bound to work against you. You're not just going to walk into some executive position, you know. I bet even Andy won't, with all his qualifications. Oh, we'll give Andy the job, then. <sighs> Stephen, listen. Look, Look Dad, what? I'm sorry. I appreciate it, I really do. But I just don't want to be dependent on you. I've got friends, I've got contacts, I'll be fine. Yeah. Well, you could at least think about it. I did think about it. When I was in there, there was nothing else to do. Mm-hmm. Could be a new start, though. 
That's the difference. Yeah, but it's not the start I need. I know what I want, and I'm going to get it. But I'm going to get it in my own way. Only me! Uh, this is what about you, Gary? How'd you get on, son? Uh, I think we're fine. It's fine. Uh, they didn't want me, but uh, they were nice lads. Ah, well, don't worry your head. There's plenty more bands. Yeah, I suppose. You know, I've had that drum kit since we were married. Mm-hmm. I always fancy being a drummer. You know, when you're watching bands on the telly and that, it was always a drummer that fascinated me. Aye, oh, me too. I promised myself when I had enough money, I'd get a kit. Ah, oh, you do right, Gary. <clears throat> I enjoyed banging away, even if other people didn't. But it never really occurred to me all that time that you had to be any good at music to do it properly. What on earth are you talking about, Gary? Oh, you should have heard them, Jim. They were going on about sixteenths and eighths and minims and crotchets and quavers and what's it. And... I didn't have a clue. To tell you the truth, I felt a bit of a prat. I'll tell you what, Gary, I went down the road and buy a wee book. Well, it's a bit late. I sold the drum. Well, you sold them. The money will come in handy when the babies come. Aye, aye, and did it well, aye. Mind you, it's a terrible shame, that. Just as I was getting used to that racket. 